All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So today I want to talk to you about the internet upgrades we did here at the tiny house. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel, you'll know that we have two properties that sit right next to each other. Now, originally I was looking at probably having to put second internet in down here, but since we were able to get cable internet run to the main house up there, I decided I wanted to split it and be able to spend half the money but still have the speed at the tiny house. Now, a lot of people would say, just buy a mesh network, put a bunch of nodes up, do all this. I'm not doing that. I want full power speed. I don't want interference. I don't want dropped connections. It's not worth it. If I'm gonna set up a system, I want it to be foolproof. And the only way you can truly make things foolproof, in my opinion, would be to do them wired. Ethernet cable is way too expensive and it doesn't travel well over long, long distances. But I've got a solution, it's Mocha 2.5. Come along, let me show you the setup. All right, so we'll try and work through the wind here. Main house, garage, apartment, tiny house. As you can see, that is a very long run from the garage to the tiny house. In the garage, I have our cable modem. It connects to a router. Coming out of that router, it converts to Mocha adapters. One is Mocha 2.0 that goes to the house. The other one is Mocha 2.5, which comes down this cable wire, I don't know if you can see it right there, all the way over the water building and into the back of the tiny house. Now I would have loved to have buried that, but at the time this was just the best way to do it. Most of the trees are out of the way now, so they won't fall on it, should be fine. It also has splines to stretch in it. And it's got a secondary ground cable on it, so it's grounded. Now I do have the tools to make my own ends on these cables, so that's one direct full run, but it's over 300 feet of cable all the way up in the garage over to this front side. That's a long run, even for Mocha. But the service is 500 megabits per second, and 20 upload. So 500 down, 20 up. Let's go in the tiny house, let me show you the setup, and we'll see what kind of speeds we can get. All right guys, this is the Mocha adapter. This one is actually the 2.5, which is the newest generation. As you can see, the cable wire comes in the wall, into the unit, comes out ethernet, it is powered, comes over here and we got it plugged into the computer. So what we want to do here is see what kind of speeds we're going to get. So let me see if I can get the light not to mess with you guys. All right. So we're getting 540, 550. All right, let's see the upload. What are we going to get? 22, 23. 22, pretty consistent. Now it's always good to have a secondary test just to validate your results. So we're gonna do the Google Fiber test. And sometimes you have to run this one twice to get the correct speed. So we'll give it a second try after this. But right now we're hitting like 480, 490, 500, 530, 540, 550. 556.8 and the uploads averaging about 23 so actually more than what I'm supposed to be getting how many of you can say that from your spectrum internet or your internet provider period so let's try it again because I want good results here you're just seeing this run live and I don't have anything up at the other houses turned off or anything so this is what I'm actually getting while other stuff is obviously hooked to the network. So we're getting about 550, 557.2 on that one download. 23, 22.9, 23, pretty much consistent 23. Now, what I want you to see that's most important here is right here. Ping 23 jitter too. This shows that there is literally almost no distortion on this. 
All right, the line is putting through clean internet signal. So you're not gonna have drop pixels if you're gaming. You're not gonna have lag times. You're not gonna have any of that. All right, so you got to see the speed test. You got to see how it's performing. And I wanna say that you have to be careful where you're testing though, because for example, we have a brand new TCL TV in here. If you test it on the TV, it'll never go above 100 megabits per second. The reason why is because the framework of the internet in that is still the old style, all right? There's no reason to have more than that speed in a TV right now, so they don't bother to put it in there. So it is important to know all your equipment in the line. For example, if I would use an old router up there by the modem in the garage, then I'm only gonna get 100 speed through it. Now, if we were to do this with mesh, you know, multiple nodes or however you wanna do it, wirelessly, you're gonna have way more interference and that is a long distance. So you're gonna need a lot of them. Now, if we're trying to get the maximum through, you're gonna need Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7. You're easily looking at a $400 setup to run the apartment to run the house and to run this tiny house easily you're going to need $400 setup to do that now with this system I got the two mocha 2.0 from action tech off of eBay for like 50 bucks for both of them and then these two brand new action tech ones because I wasn't trying to mess with finding used ones I wanted the best I got these Mocha 2.5 adapters shipped to my door from Amazon, which I'll put links down below, for $135 for the pair. That sounds like a lot, but it came with all the cabling, it came with splitters, it came with everything you would need to hook these up. Now, the one thing I do want to say is I will be upgrading my modem or my router for down here because all of the routers I have, with the exception to the one that's up in the garage, all tap out at 100 on the download. So I need to put a new modem down here. Now I can direct line into the computer or anything I need to run full steam, and I could get away with one of my old modems, but it's just time to upgrade. So I probably will have another 100 or $200 in a new, mo in a new router because it just makes sense that if you've got this kind of speed, you want maximum throughput. So I can go out and get a 6E for probably about 70 or 80 bucks. So you can add that in the price, but that's still half the price of a full mesh system. Now, I will not have the internet outside the way if you had a mesh system, you would. But still, it's pretty amazing the speeds. And if you're a gamer, this is the way to move your internet through your house or through your property to hook up because you will get them low jitters, them low pings. There will be no latency lag. It will run at full steam. But also for those of us that live out in the country and we need to get internet to different locations, point to point's great, but it's got its flaws. This is a simple way. The kit to do the ends on these wires is super cheap. And then you can run antennas for TV, you can run internet this way with the Mocha adapters. For most people, a Mocha 2.0 would probably be good enough if you're just trying to go out to outbuildings or somewhere to watch TV. Because I can get 150 to 170 out of Mocha 2.0. And that's pretty good. Honestly, that's pretty good speed. But we're going to be down here to living here. The kids are going to be over. There's going to be people over. We wanted to have the maximum throughput to the tiny house without actually having to have two cable services, as in cable internet. So if we were to just do this where we bought two services, all right, the standard 500 package is $80 a month through Spectrum. That means I'd be paying $160 a month for the two properties. And that wouldn't even be getting it out to the garage or the apartment. That's just hooking up the two properties. So for what I'm going to spend to set this up, I will save that in two months service. So everything will be paid off basically in two months service. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's a pretty good deal to me. I hope you found something valuable in this. Mocha 2.5 is an amazing technology. And I feel like if you've got old cable wires in your house because you're a cord cutter, or if you have you know, the ability to run cable wire out through your yard, you can bury this wire. That's not a problem at all. If you need it in your barn, mother-in-law suite outside, your she shed or man shed, anywhere you need to send internet, I think you should really look into Mocha because it's an excellent choice. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next one.